So the expansion has been delayed. That just means you have more time on the beta servers. For those of you who have the access, of course, and for those of you who will get it eventually with the constant beta invites we still see going out. Maybe you want your transmox to work on beta. Maybe you want to know how to get the max eye level gear possible and just smash dungeons. We have it all, dear viewer, that and more in this video, Shadowlands Beta Guide. Woo! Make sure to tune into our stream at twitch.tv slash marcellianonline. We actually do this kind of stuff, the stuff you'll see in the video, a few times per stream, and we stream five days a week. Hop on by and maybe even run some dungeons with us while we wait for Shadowlands together to come out. When you log into the beta for the first time, you will see three servers, the Maw, Orbos, and Torghast. All of them are connected, so you can play with people from the other ones. What's actually important is the difference between Orbos and the Maw and the Torghast servers. Orbos and the Maw are there to offer a level 50 character template that's ready to jump into the story and content of Shadowlands. Torghast, if your goal is endgame, is basically where you want to go to test covenants, legendaries, and the actual Torghast dungeon. Once you get there, you can create a max level tune that already progressed through the basic storylines of each covenant. Torghast is mainly for testing the actual systems. Again, covenants, legendaries, conduits, you can get all of those kind of free-ish. Then even step into Mythic Plus dungeons and raid testing whenever they enable it. might be interested to level from scratch though with the new exiles reach experience which i have to say as a 20 or more year warcraft fan it's been the the only zone that gave me any warcrafty fields i have to say that it's just amazing and you know you can think of this as the tutorial for the new players or also a cool thing for us veterans that have seen and done all quests imaginable Death Knights and Demon Hunters will start at level 8 though, while everyone else starts with 1 within Exile Reach, the new leveling experience, and once you reach 10 with any character, you can just go with the Chromie time to the best expansion, which we all know is Warlords of Draenor. Oh, oh, not in the face, man! That should let you level from 10 to 50, or maybe simply start at level 50 by selecting the extra option on your screen to create a level 50 character or simply copy your main over with the epics and everything. The obvious are obvious if you copy your main. Azurai powers will be disabled in the Shadowlands zones and so will essences, while corruptions will be disabled altogether in 9.0. The gear the level 50 template character starts with is 75 eye level, which is pretty low. You are probably better off copying a character from your main server, your main account. To give you an idea, a 475 eye level gear turns into 125 gear on the beta, and you can carry it quite a few levels through Shadowlands before you will actually start getting upgrades. Copying a character from your main account, EU, NA, or otherwise, will also unlock your mounts and transmogs. This might actually be useful for stuff like Tundra Mammoths. Let's dive more into the endgame and the Torghast realm. Any tune you will create here will be instant level 60. When you get there, the first thing you will notice is the NPC Tal Inara ready to give you the quest to choose your covenant. Take it, check every covenant in part and there will even be dialogue options for you to test covenant abilities. After you talk to each covenant representative, go back to the Axis scouting map type thingy and actually choose your covenant. That will give the representative, respected for each covenant, a quest for you to pick up. Get it and move out towards the middle of the city. Visit the resource vendor, get anima and honor points. Around the center of the well soul thingy there's a bunch of NPCs. The most important one right now is the test resource distributor. Make sure to get the honor points from the dialogue options and also the anima because that will be important later. Go back to where the Covenant's choices were and to the side there is the PvP gear vendor in like a side room. The selection of items is not that great, but you can buy everything except trinkets. Buy an upgrade PvP gear and once you have everything purchased, another NPC next to it will let you upgrade those items with the honor points you just purchased. 
upgrade all of them to rank 6, which is the max currently, and that puts them at 190 eye level each. That essentially puts you at just below raiding gear eye level and a little bit above mythic gear if you also upgrade trinkets, but you're not going to upgrade trinkets because you're going to buy them from the vendor. Because after that, you can just go into the vendor area in the middle once again, and you will find a solo tower and vendor called Trinketar. He sells trinkets. <laughs> Mythic trinkets with 226 eye level. You can test all of them out eventually, and you probably should because it's beta, you know, Blizzard needs feedback. Right now, as a bonus, there are a couple that actually stand out, like the file of putrefaction for strength DPS or the blood spattered scale for the tanks. Likely these will get balanced, so don't get your hopes up too much, but they're still worth taking a look at anyway. After that, you want to get some flasks and foods and stuffs. The vendor you want is the female Tauren, Flaskator. You will have pages upon pages upon pages of alchemy, enchanting and general consumables made by the professions. What you want is the Spectral Flask of Power or Eternal Cauldron, which sometimes doesn't show for all characters, might be a bug. Now, they will just give you main stat regardless of your class and specs. So you can just buy a bunch of them. You can also buy the stat food of your choice or go with the Feast of Gluttonous Hedonism. There are several massive number of enchants you can go for and even armor kits that give you stamina if you will want to tank. One last thing we recommend is the Shadow Core Oil, which will apply to a weapon and deal extra shadow damage when you damage an enemy. From the tooltip, this should apply to any class and spec that deals damage, so casters as well. But of course, you can get other oils and enchants as you see fit. This works even better with the Potion of Phantom Fire that gets buffed by 10% extra damage if you have Shadow Core Oil. Really, really solid interaction. Once you have all of this shit, it's time to create your legendary. There are two Tauren vendors called Rune Carvatar and Runatar. The one on the right sells the Bags of Soul Ash, which contain 1000 Soul Ash to craft legendaries. If you want to craft more than 10 legendaries, because yeah, there's more than 10 of them, then buy multiple Bags of Soul Ash. Make sure to also purchase the legendary powers. After that, you have Missives of Haste and Mastery and all those stats. These are essentially the inscription new items that determine secondary stats of crafted gear, which goes double for legendaries. Hey, no more RNG in crafting gear. Buy a bunch of these. Make sure you get at least two different ones since you cannot put haste twice in an item, for instance. I personally like to purchase two of each armor type, which will actually be what your legendary power will apply to. Since one armor type can hold more than one legendary power, you might want to make a bunch of chest pieces with different legendary power. So, you know, buy more. Once you have all of this, talk to the torrent to the left which will teleport you to the Rune Carver, the dude that actually makes the legendary for you. When you click him and open up the dialog box, you'll see a new window pop up. If you click the circle to the left, you can select a legendary power and you can see what items it can be applied to. Then actually put the item in the middle, select that legendary power, then put in the missives of the secondary stats of your choice and BOOM! You have the legendary! Make as many as you want so you don't have to come back. You'll have to switch specs if you want to craft one that's not available for your current spec though, so keep that in mind. Once that is done, you can teleport out with the left torn NPC. Go to the teleporter beacon once outside so you can get to the upper level by teleporting there. That's where the flight master is. All flight paths will be unlocked, so just go there and select the one closest to your covenant sanctum. You'll probably see it on the map or the quest log will tell you which flight path to select. Every covenant is different, so if you just follow the quest line, it will unlock the first soul bind, and after the, that, you can just get the rest of the soul binds. Once you have your first soul bind unlocked, go to the conduit vendor, which should be somewhere in your sanctum. Buy the conduits, which are like essences, go to the soul bind altar, and learn them one by one, and create your first soul bind tree. Yay, systems! Once that is done, you are officially ready to hop into some endgame content. There used to be a key vendor for dungeons, which is usually the case for every PTR server, but there isn't now, so you will have to manually do mythics to get a key just like you would on live. Make sure to not be a dick and invite off meta specs too. And of course, report bugs, because this is beta and Blizzard needs the feedback. Everyone needs to test stuff, so you can just tell Blizzard to get their stuff together. Get those enhancements and ferals into your group. Plus, you might even be surprised by who you get in, like Stan.
who plays Feral and can out DPS my unholy DK sometimes. <sighs> Why am I a shit player? Raid testing is usually announced by Blizzard at their decided time frame, so keep an eye out on our WoW News Discord channel where all of the things will be posted. If you want a quick macro to upgrade your items by just pressing a button, you can use the all reliable on the screen right now or copy paste it from our Discord link. Again, you can find it pinned in the comment section in the Class Talk channel. There is also a soul bind trick you can do to skip the maw questline. This might not work for too long, but for however long it will, what you can do is once actually you get into your sanctum for the first time, instead of starting the quest line that sends you to the maw, just go to the conduit vendor and buy the conduit. Go to the soulbind altar even if you cannot interact with it and attempt to learn the conduit. This will open up the soulbind interface with the last soulbind being available for use, courtesy of our stream chat. Love you stream chat! As a tidbit, in your sanctum there is a quartermaster which sells your covenant transmog. Rock out with it once you can purchase the whole thing with renown that you can get because it's paid up. Orbos is easy to navigate through. Everything is on the lower level, from the transmogs to the great vault, you know, the weekly chest, covenants, PvP vendor, etc. etc. And if you really cannot find something, the Orbos chat is the new Baron's chat, so have at it! We would like to thank our patrons for supporting our videos and content and streams and basically everything that we do guys without you this will be really really tricky so thank you very much for making our dream come true it's not necessary but if you dear viewer also want to support us a little bit more you can check the link down below to our patreon page we also have a merch page that you can check and of course we want to do a special thank you shout out to our admins who provided us with some of the footage if not all of the footage some of the research and the whole idea was thanks to one of our admins and patrons as well so thank you you know who you are Stan. that's weird thank you for being awesome and watching the video so far and we'll see you in the next one I've been loving it then, I still love it now Still, I play wild Still, I play wild Getting better every day, let me show you how Cause still, I play wild Still, I play wild It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day It's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow Still, I play wild